So today we are going to understand the basics of computer vision. So this is the boot camp offered by eLearners 365. And in this boot camp, what we are going to learn are few things. Let me note down all the things we will learn here in a notepad file. And later we will check whether we have learned all the concepts or not. So first we will learn about what is computer vision, right? What are its applications? And later, we will look into how computer vision works, right? If we will understand these many things, then we will go into deep understanding of what is convolution. So convolution is the concept behind all the algorithms which we study under computer vision domain, right? So then we will understand this. Later, we will start with uh, what are hair cascade data and how it works, right? Then we will understand inside this hair cascade how we can detect face, right? Or we can say object detection, simple object detection in a simple image. Then we will go for hierarchical object detection. Right. So this is the agenda and then we will conclude everything. So this is our agenda of today's uh, boot camp. So this is actually the first webinar of this boot camp. In the coming series, we will further study other algorithms which are now very interesting and these are actually very recent algorithms. So later we will study uh, all of these which comes under computer vision. So let's start from very basic. Those who don't have any idea about computer vision, those who don't know anything related to machine learning or deep learning, they don't have to worry about. Today we will we will start from very scratch what is computer vision and how it works, how we can uh, build our interest in this field and how we can play with many algorithms, right? So let's start. Uh, before uh, starting, let me give a short introduction of mine and you can also unmute your mic and uh, tell me about your background and your uh, understanding of computer vision. So let me start first. Um, as you know, my name is Jaya Gupta and I am, I'm been working in the field of computer vision since nine years. I've uh, done my bachelor's in 2011, master's in 2013. Later, I've uh, uh, taught this uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning and machine learning at various colleges as assistant professor. I've also worked at, uh, uh, at IIT Delhi as principal research scientist. And I'm also NVIDIA DLI University Ambassador. Under that program, we go to different institutions all in all over India, like NIT, Mangalore, Calicut, Chennai. So there we go and teach students. And sometimes we also go to ICMR, like the institutions, which are all India institutions. So we go there to actually uh, educate people about AI and machine learning algorithms and how they work with different disciplines, right? So nowadays, everybody is aware about how machine learning and artificial intelligence is able to work in every domain. Why? Because they can provide smart solutions, right? So nowadays, we are looking into smart solutions. So let's focus on our agenda now. So computer vision is the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning where we deal with pictures or we can say visual data, right? The things we perceive through eyes is a visual data, right? And once we click a picture of it, 
or we record a video it becomes a data which is a visual data and for us it is very easy to see objects inside a picture right so if there is this picture you can see here there is this picture and we can easily say that this is a kind of pupil right or retina of a human eye but it is very difficult for a computer to understand that why because computer do not study colors or anything they study numbers they recognize numbers right so for a computer it is very tough to understand this so that's why this is not a very trivial task for a computer because it is a machine it works on zeros and ones and it actually works on numbers so it is not able to recognize any person or object that is there in the image right so to for a automatic task how the cameras can see what we can see we have designed some algorithms right we have designed some procedures and through which we enable a camera to understand what it sees right so that is the field of computer vision and the applications of it are like uh, it is uh, been applied to if i'll talk about very general applications so we see that when we go to toll text toll bridge and there is this camera attached there and it actually reads your fast card and then the money is detected automatically and the barrier gate is open for you right so government has been using this technology like from many uh, like we can we can say from two through two to three years back these cameras have been installed right also there are other uh, use cases like your chalan is you if you cross some uh, rules road rules you get a chalan on your phone right so you have to deposit some money to get a clear out of that chalan right so government it is using this technology which is actually able to understand what it sees right so how this computer vision works so let me give you a demonstration in here how this works so i'll open this and here let me search for any image in here um like i'll search for a rose image with butterfly right so i have this image of a rose with butterfly i'll copy this image and paste it here in the paint section right to demonstrate you how this thing works right so i got this image in here let me remove this right so how computer vision works it actually uses a window like this this is called a filter or a kernel so this filter is applied all over the image this filter is applied all over the image in a sequential manner like it will go scan the image from here to here or let me resize this image which will just fit, fit the picture right now what it will do it will actually scan the image and when it scans the image is it actually do a convolution operation what is a convolution operation it actually takes it it is able to find out the edges like this is the edge of this butterfly and using this convolution operation it is able to identify the edges of the image those edges can be horizontal edges horizontal like this or a vertical edge like this or some other points it is able to identify through which it can detect what is there in the image and there is one more phenomena if i'll zoom this out you can see that these are actually small boxes right and what these small boxes are these boxes are actually containing some numeric value right so if i'll show you here see 
this is the rgb value it, they are containing if if i change this value let me write some value in here like 34 if i'll write this if i'll change this as 56 you can see the colors is, are changing so i can def, uh, make it like uh, now you can see that it is changing if i'll change this value a lot like if i'll change it 1 1 so this bar is also changing so you can see that if i change this bar all the colors are getting changed and what it shows that we have numbers which are actually generating any color right so this is the intuition behind computer vision algorithms right this is also the intuition behind this convolution operation and what is this rgb rgb is the three channel color red green and blue when we see any color image there are three channels red channel green channel and blue channel and at accordingly every pixel of the image is containing color accordingly these three different channels right so you can see there if i'll change it like to 45 now the color is yellow right if i will change it to 24 now the color is green if i change this thing to 2 this color is a bright green right if i will change this 26 so it it is going in the green zone because the green color is having higher value right if this color is having higher value like this it will go to blue zone right and these rgb channels can contain maximum value till 255 they can't go beyond that right so if i if you write other values this is not changing right so we can take a value which is till 255 0 to 255 is the range for every channel right so when we zoom out an image we are able to see these are little boxes and these little boxes are pixels and every pixel is containing some color and that color is actually a number which uh, lies in rgb channel range so rgb is a range red green and blue three channels are there and every color is formed by a combination by mixing the combination of rgb right that we have seen just now so a convolution operation does it it actually scans this kind of filter right what it this kind of filter represents let me show you what it represents so i'll write a line here just a straight line and if i'll fill if i'll fill the left half with this black color and this will remain white then what will happen what will happen that if this kind of filter will be scanned throughout the image like this like one 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 uh, loop it will do like this first time it will go like this and second time it will fill start from here and then it will scan the whole image this way this this filter will scan the whole image right like this and once this will scan the whole image it is able to identify all the edges which are vertical in nature right so this vertical uh, color difference you can say uh, just for a a uh, very basic understanding this kind of black and white color difference is able to identify all the vertical edges which are getting formed in this picture right so this is actually the intuition behind computer vision algorithm sorry convolution algorithm and how it works so if we will change the filter and we will utilize some other filter like this uh like this right so if i'll uh, use some other filter maybe we can use this one right so this kind of filter is able to identify all the horizontal edges present in the image 
right there are more options we can utilize if we have some filter which will be able to find out all the corners in the image let me design the filter right and if i'll fill this portion and this portion so then it is able to find out all the corners or the points which are diagonal in nature and it will identify all the points from this image so in that manner if we apply different filter at once means first we will apply this and it will scan the whole image and generate few values do those values are able to identify all the vertical edges in the image right then in the second turn i will apply this filter and then scan the whole image using this filter and it will be able to identify all the horizontal edges present in the image then we will use this filter and it will be able to identify all the corner points or the diagonal kind of stuff from the image and through which we can generate many such final outcomes by utilizing this this and this filter and if we will superimpose all the three outcomes and stack them together and we will see then we we are able to see this picture where all the edges from the image is able to um, able to get extracted right so this is the idea behind convolution operation right so now let's start what is there in hair cascade right so hair cascade is actually a, an algorithm which helps you to identify faces or eyes or front face like side face in an image so first we will see how it works right so it was introduced by vola and jones in 2001 and it is able to find out the objects in the image right so it is a rapid object detection algorithm which actually can take cascade simple features what is cascade i'll tell you later when we will uh, see the syntax of the program right next says that identify a custom identifying a custom object in an image is known as object detection so it it tells you what is object detection object detection is the identification of custom object in an image right custom object is any object which is uh, like which is there in in an uh, in a natural scene right which is has been put by you right so here we will use the simplest form of object detection that is hair cascade so this is very basic algorithm right and it is able to detect the objects irrespective of their scale in the image and location scale uh, what is the scale so this image is uh, is very lower scale so let me give you an example from here right so these are different scales right so this is very lit uh, very zoom in thing then zoom out then or zoom out and and this, these are different scales of the image right so it is able to identify the face in different scales right like this in very smaller image it is able to identify whereas uh, in in a larger image it is able to identify the object right and what it can identify we can uh, train the har cascade classifier or detector to detect various objects like cars bikes buildings fruits etc right so it is not a very complex algorithm but it is very lightweight to run right so remember when you want to capture any picture from your phone you get a boundary around the face right that kind of box is the application of object detection right it comes under object detection so that your camera is able to identify a person face so how how a camera is able to get such functionality how the cameras became so smart 
so a machine learning is a technology behind it which trains an algorithm right a model i can say which can take multiple which can take multiple images and then it is trained to identify the boundary around the face right so how it is getting trained it actually it has taken both kind of images face as well as no face images right and by using both the images we can make an algorithm or a model to understand that this is a face and this is no face means it is very easy for us but it is it is not very easy for a computer because it works on numbers right so let's start first what we will do we will install open cv hyphen python so we will do this pip install open cv hyphen python and then what we will do we will import few important libraries because uh, because you see that this image is nothing but some numbers and some numbers are arranged in row and column fashion right there are few rows and few columns if we uh, perceive it like that this is a row and these are few columns so numpy is the uh, python library which can deal with matrix matrix is a concept in mathematics which take something in rows and columns right and there are numbers inside uh, matrix and numpy is a library in python which is able to perform mathematical calculations very fast it can multiply two matrices very easily and why we need the multiplication of two matrices like you can see here this is also something which is rows and column combination right there are if you will uh, cut this into many rows so there are many rows in which half of the columns are containing black values and half of the columns are containing white white values right so when we want to apply this kind of small filter over the image what will happen this matrix will be multiplied by the matrix behind it right so there is a lot more matrix mat multiplication because we will scan so we will put next time we will put this image this filter here and it will scan this part then we will just uh, uh, put it next to this and then it will scan this part then it will scan this part of the image then this will scan this part of the image like this manner we will just shift this filter little bit to scan the whole image and there are multiple matrix calculations happening behind the scenes right so in such a manner this uh, convolution operation works and for that we have imported this numpy function and this cv2 is the computer vision library which we have installed from here computer vision open cv hyphen python have many functions which makes your task easier to read a image right so you can see there image path is equals to this and img is equals to this is the path of the image so this image adobe stock image is stored in my google drive so let me show you where it is uh, stored so it is there inside my drive i am connecting my drive with this collab and if you don't know collab is a platform which provide all the functions like here we do have not uh, installed numpy with this because collab provides the basic installation of uh, all the machine learning libraries that's why there is no need to do that right to in to install numpy as well as other libraries we were going to we are going to use right let me run it to show you right when i have mounted my drive i am able to see my drive right inside this i'll go and here i've made a folder in which this adobe stock image is stored right so we have adobe stock 213780225 
right? This is the image we have stored in here and we can check this is the image, right? But how to read this image using Python programming? So this is how we read the image. Here, what we did is IMG is the variable and this variable holds this function cv2 dot im read and this function takes the image path and what is the path of the image and we can copy the path from here and this copied path we can provide inside this image path function and then we have provided this image path inside this function right so once we will run it we will be able to see that this cell is has run already right so let me show you what is IMG. See, it, it is actually numbers, right? It is a matrix. There are few numbers which are 255, which represents that the portion of some of the portion of the image is white, whereas there are few numbers which are lesser than 255. So it, it actually shows some dot, 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 and these dot, dot, dots are actually uh, the whole numbers and it is showing some of the numbers to give you an idea. Right? So you have already seen that there are few uh, child in the image and the image is containing a lot of white portion and those white portion are read out as 255. So I'll just for a better understanding, I'll show you this. Right. So this white portion is treated as 255, whereas if there are few colors, so you can see that few of the values are different. 249, 254, these are few different values. Right. So you see all the channels in here, it is containing RGB, all the three channel values in it. Right. So here also we have variable explorer. This is the variable explorer of this... Uh, collab and you can see that 190 cross 588 comma 3 190 is the length 588 sorry 190 is the width of the image 588 is the height of the image and 3 is rgb channel right so now we read the whole image and we have seen how the matrix look like now let's proceed further because it is very important to understand how your how your input data is right what data you are providing to a machine learning uh, model right so let me proceed further after understanding what the image is like this is the google drive mount code which i've already run so no, no need to run it again. It will actually verify my account. Okay, now it's done. Already mounted, right? Now there is this uh, CV2 underscore I am show function. So this is particularly used in collab to see what image we have taken. So that time we have double clicked and see the image just using um this windows uh, file hierarchy but now we have seen the same image using cv2 or computer vision functions right so this is the image we are having so now our first task is to do simple human face detection right so for that we will take a function which is called cascade classifier what this function is taking this function is taking a file from my drive right that is stored in my drive and the name of the file is hair cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot xml right so this file is actually containing a lot of numbers those are called the weights of a neural network they have saved the weights of a neural network in a file dot html extension file and then we are using this file in a real time to detect the face right first we will see how it works and then we will go and understand what are there inside this file right so 
there is one more function face underscore detector dot detect multi scale this multi scale function takes few parameters like image the image we have read this image function as well as sorry this image um, variable as well as scale factor that how much is the scale of the image right it takes that argument minimum neighbors it means how much it has to check in the image minimum size of the image it will apply the apply the filters on the size of the image of 3 30 cross 30 to 198 cross 500 something what will be the size of the image right so it will do the scaling and every scale it identify the face in the image right it has taken for few parameters and after taking these parameters we get some answers in the result file what result file is containing is the coordinates of the face right so once we will see x y w h so x y is the left corner and w h is the right corner coordinates of a rectangular box which we will see around the image right so here here you can see this is the boundary and this rectangular box is formed by x comma y comma w comma h right so this is a, this point in w comma h is the width and height of this rectangular box so after providing these many parameters this cascade uh, sorry detect multi scale is able to save the results of the square of this rectangular box right in this parameter in this um, variable right and how this is able to do so by applying this face detector variable face detector is here and it is taking the values from hair cascade frontal face underscore default file right in this manner we we take values from the file in this function in this variable and this variable is able to call this function this is actually the object and it is call, it is able to call the function and everything uh, we want will be stored in the results file and this results file is able to um, write this boundary around the face right so we can see that it is very easy to bus uh, this using these two important lines of code we are able to see this boundary boxes around the face so this is very basic uh, application of computer vision right object detection is very powerful and very basic right object detection is the same thing an autonomous car is doing right it is able to identify the people on the road like tesla is making autonomous car where uh, like google is also making an autonomous car so they are using the advanced functionalities of computer vision object detection which we have just started right so this is a very cutting edge technology of today's scenario if you have any doubts still yet you may ask and then i would like to proceed further yes google lens is also running the behind this uh, using his computer vision algorithm okay so to do a practical like i've shown you how this actually image having multiple things also i've prepared this file to make you understand all these concepts right later i'll run like the, i'm running these things to make you understand right so if i'll remove these lines cv2 underscore i am show so you won't see anything here right everything is running but you won't see anything so how you will see cv2 underscore i am show so this is the function uh, which we need to show an image so here we will write img and then we will hit enter and now we can see the result right so in the same fashion we can detect multiple things in an image like here if we want to detect these eyes of these little kids we can do so and for that this cascade classifier will take 
this as an input har cascade underscore i dot xml right so where is this file this file is here inside this folder har cascade and you can see i dot xml it is using this file so you can check har cascade has provide some other files as well to detect eye glasses right uh, it will also detect frontal cat face right agar if if there are our cats in the image it is able to identify the cat face right i'll show you how just after uh, running this algorithm i'll show you how we can detect a cat face right there are, there are other algorithms as well so you can uh, play with all these uh, xml files using this code so if you want i can share this code as well with you right so in the end of the session i'll share a feedback form and whosoever will fill the feedback form we will share the code with them right also they have to post on their uh, social media platform that they have used they were they have attended this session and how they are benefited with this session so later we will send the code to them right i'll share this file with them as well as the required files which you need to run this code right right so here i have taken this i detector variable and in this variable we are taking the values from this hire cascade underscore i dot xml file and from there we are reading the values which are there inside this file and we will save everything inside i detector variable right and then what we will do using this object i detector we will do the same thing detect multi scale and here this results is actually the same thing we are creating here so now two for loops are applied where one for loop is taking the results from the face detector and another for loop is taking the values of this i detector right so after using both the things we are able to identify eyes as well right so there you see some thing which is not an eye is still it is detected as an eye so this is actually the limitation or the drawback of hair cascade right it is robust it is lightweight it can run on small machines like your phones or it can run on raspberry pi or you know very fast but sometimes it shows some things which are not as it mentions right so this is not the eye still it shows that this is a eye so this concept in terms of in the machine learning this kind of thing is called false positive false positive means it is saying that this is i whereas it is not an i right so this kind of concept in machine learning is called false positive and it is very popular with the name type 1 error right so because of some drawbacks of hair cascade some other advanced concepts have been developed which we will discuss in the coming sessions right such as faster rcnn hawk plus linear svm yolo is very very powerful and uh, very good algorithm it is also lightweight right it is heavier than uh, this hair cascade but it is light, lighter than other algorithms it is very easy to train so in the coming videos we will see how yolo works right it is very important algorithm so right now i think that you are able to understand how we have detected the faces and also how we have detected eyes also right so this eye is actually a um a hierarchical kind of concept in here because first we are detecting faces and then this roi what is this roi roi is actually reason of interest the um full form is of roi is reason of interest and what it does it actually first crops this outer boundary using face detector and 
to detect the eye it takes this roi color right it takes roi color inside this detect multi scale so first it crops the faces from the image and after cropping the faces it will see inside this boundary is there any thing which is called eye right so how it understand that this is eye this is this is not eye right something like ear it is having some ears inside this bo box it is not it is uh, able to differentiate between ear and eye in here right but here is some false positive we got right but here we don't get any false positive it is able to identify very clearly right so all these things how it is deciding which is eye which is not the eye is written inside this hair cascade underscore i dot xml file right now let's see what is there inside that file uh in a xml viewer you can understand you can see so i'll open one uh, xml viewer in here i'll load my file um let me let me download it from my drive so this is actually my drive uh, full view and here we are going inside this hair cascade and i will download this um, i dot xml file and i'll show you what is there inside this file how it is deciding i'll browse from the downloads see so if you check in here we have some height width we count so and also we have internal nodes these internal nodes are taking some values these values are actually weights of a neural network right it has leaf value stage threshold we count so this is inside xml file look here nothing is like question and answer like thing which says you is that mouth and there is nothing question answer concept it is taking some values with these tags right so if i'll scroll the whole file for you you will find you won't find any question answer concept you'll find some values in here and also some tags if you know html you can easily understand xml is taking it it is actually uses the tags which are human created like designed by us user defined tags right so here there are many values inside those tags but no question answer like concept and based on this these numbers it is able to identify where is the eye right so i have told you i'll show you how to like uh, is is this hair cascade is able to identify a cat face so let's do the same thing i'll write the write a code for you right now first i'll uh, download a cat face image from google so like this is looking cute so i'll download this file let me write cat 1 and the extension of the file is jfif so let me open this file to paint and i'll change the extension to jpg or png i'll go to file save as jpg right this i'm doing just to uh, do the easy implementation right now let me save it again we got this file cat which is a jpg file and it is containing cat inside it right so i'll delete this one now what i will do is upload this file in here in my drive so i'll upload in here upload and i'll use this cat file i'll open it here 
okay i got the file in here cat1.jpg now it is there in my collab this now i will apply that hair cascade uh, cat file so before doing that let me copy the portions of the code which i need just i will start from here i'll copy and i'll uh, make a new heading here we can write a text cat face detector right and this is the heading we put on let's write the code in here so here the image path will be different so i'll put uh, the image path from here cat picture right click here and i'll copy path i'll put in here and i'll hit enter right it's checked it means there is no error it is running perfectly right later i don't need image i don't want to mount anything right i can do some image show thing just to see what we have taken from our drive and let me change this variable to cat image so that you can see the difference cat img is the name of the variable and then we see that we have used this file we are using this file in our to uh, to see how this uh, hair cascade works on cat face right now i will take the piece of code which actually takes face detector and collab file so i'll write code and then i'll put this and this is the same thing actually we will change this to the cat face i'll go to hair cascade inside hair cascade we will go for a frontal cat face xml right here i'll copy the path i'll put the path here and let me close this is not required now we got the path of this hair cascade file to read cat face to to put a boundary around cat face and after this we will do multi scale detect multi scale right so i'll put uh, the code inside this and like in place of results i'll write cat results cat results is the name of my variable let me put underscore for better uh, reading face detector right this is the variable we are using detect multi scale right image is not a variable cat image is the cat img is the variable right this is a variable we are using and rest of the things i won't change and both the lines of code is running properly we got a tick mark in here then i'll run this just to see is it able to identify the cat face or not so let me write cat img in here in place of results i'll write cat results in place of img i'm right i'll write cat img the rest of the things i'm not touching and let's see wow we are able to find out a cat face in the image so in the same fashion writing and changing few things in the code now you got the idea what things you have to change right you, you you have to change the image you are providing you have to change what kind of thing you want to see in a in a image and accordingly you can uh, use the hair cascade file and then don't need to change any other things for uh, just for experiment you can change scale multi, uh, factor right so i'll rerun the file and just to see if this 
changing this trick like it is not changing anything anything which we can visualize it is able to handle the scale factor right and now you can see the result it is able to identify a cat face so similarly you can try for other hair cascade files so i'll provide you the link to download this hair cascade uh, file as well right um, so i'll provide you the github where from where you can download and if you want me to upload the specific files i'll do that also for you please uh, mention the things uh, after the session so till here we have seen how the face detection as well as eye detection works on the image which we upload right so now if you want to see how it works on live webcam please watch our next video in this series and do subscribe this channel if you want to learn computer vision fundamentals from very basic to advanced level please like this video and spread this video so that others will be able to learn the deep understanding of hair cascade data and what is there inside that file that xml file so people need to understand what is there inside the data which is helping you to detect the face or a eye so please like share and subscribe this youtube channel and spread this youtube video thank you thank you so much for uh, listening the session